Welcome back. I'm going to show you in this video another um, elastic or lace bind off. This one's very popular, very common, um, and very easy to do. I've seen it described as a Russian bind off also, but I've also seen another variation described the same way, and I'll uh, demonstrate that one in a, in a subsequent video. So this one, um, pretty much all you do is knit two together through the back loop. and put that stitch back onto the left needle and knit two together through the back loop and put that stitch back onto the left needle knit two together through the back loop and put that stitch back onto the left needle and you can see it is um, knit two together back through the left needle you can see it is um, creating a relatively stretchy uh, bind off that um, is create you know can be somewhat stretchy. So knit two together through the back loop and put that resulting stitch back onto the left needle. Knit two together through the back loop and so forth. It's super easy. You don't really have to think much. Knit two together um, through the back loop. Through the back meaning, instead of going, this would be knit two together through the front. Knit through together through the back. And then put that stitch back. Knit two together through the back. And so forth, all the way across the row. Um, this is not as stretchy as the bind off with the yarn over involved uh, that I've demonstrated in another video. You could look on my channel to find to find that. Um, but it is surprisingly stretchy, uh, even though um, you would think that that would be counterintuitive since we're actually doing a decrease there. Like you can see, it is fairly stretchy. You have a little bit of extra space created there, which you can see. And it is, it does create a stretchy bind off. And that was um, the knit two together through the back loop bind off. Okay, stay tuned for um, another variation on this uh, bind off method and I'll see you soon.